So here we have uh, several functions nested within one another. Cosine is the outermost function, then the root, then the sine, then the tan, and then the multiplication by pi. So we're going to have to unravel this slowly with chain rule. Let's see how it goes. Um, dy dx. First of all, der derivative of cosine. You know what I'm going to do on this one? I'm going to go a little bit faster than I usually do. Usually, I, you know how I usually write um, the prime at the end? Like, I write some stuff and then prime, and then I do it on the next step. Why don't we try to do this all in one shot? Because uh, that's usually the way we will do it later on in the course. And we are getting pretty good at chain rule by now that we should be able to handle this. So let's see how it goes. Derivative of cosine is minus sine times the stuff that I'm ignoring. And now I have to multiply by the derivative of what I'm ignoring, which is actually this stuff here that I just wrote. So uh, what's the derivative of this? Well, it's going to be 1 over 2 root of the stuff under there, sine tan pi x. And now where am I? I'm taking the derivative of sine tan pi x. What's the derivative of sine of something? It's cos of that thing. Times the derivative of that thing. So now I have to multiply by the derivative of tan pi x, which is secant squared pi x. And now I have to multiply the derivative of pi x, which is just pi. So I did this one a little bit faster than the other ones. I hope you understand it. It's... Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but uh, if you take your time and follow the chain rule step by step, it's not too bad. Uh, please don't think you can cancel these out, right? Why can't you? Why is that not allowed? Because this root sine tan pi x is actually trapped inside the sine, and it's not available for canceling. And I don't even want to bother writing this. Uh, I don't think there's actually nothing you can even do to simplify it. It's just a big mess. And uh, we're just going to stop there. So I hope you understood this. It's, I think it's pretty instructive to uh, perfect your understanding of the chain rule.